So the last concept, the last session of your electrochemistry, that is session number 20 is about corrosion. That is nothing but rusting. So what is rusting? As we all know, simply when you throw a, a metal rod, usually your iron rod exposed to your atmosphere, when you throw it outside, it is exposed through to your atmosphere, which is having your oxygen as well as moisture content. Atmosphere has moisture as well as oxygen content. When your metal rod surface, metal rod of your surface comes in contact with your atmospheric oxygen or moisture content, it undergoes rusting. That is your iron or any metal forms its respective metal oxide. The metal oxide is nothing but your rust. The brown powder which you get from your carbon that is your from your metal that is iron uh, after, after getting rusted that brown powder which you get it from that is nothing but your rusting. So, conversion of metal into metal rod in presence of atmospheric oxygen and moisture content is simply called as corrosion or rusting. So, I have taken an example of iron for rusting here. Remember all metals undergo rusting that is all metals undergo oxidation with the reaction with your oxygen, atmospheric oxygen as well as your moisture content. But the rate of this reaction is very slow. Say if you take your iron, say if it gets corroded in 10 days or 20 days, if you expose it to moisture content and oxygen, the gold may take up to one year. As you all know gold is a noble metal, its corrosion that is its corroding capacity is less. Uh, that is its reactivity is less with your atmospheric oxygen and moisture content. Hence, its corrosion rate is less. But even gold, gold silver, your uh, copper gets corroded. But depending upon the reactivity of the metal you have taken, the reaction slows down. So, if reactivity is high like your iron, rusting is very fast. If the reactivity is less, if it is a noble metal, its reactivity is less. So, corroding rate is less. So, I have taken an iron example as I have told you it is the corrosion is nothing but a reaction with atmospheric oxygen as well as moisture content to form its respective metal oxide. So, if a general reaction if I take it, it takes like iron reacts with air that is air means here atmospheric oxygen and moisture content to form its respective oxide. So, iron oxide is formed which is nothing but your rust. So, metal into respective metal oxide is called as your corrosion or rusting and remember this is a surface phenomenon this is a surface phenomenon that is the surface which is exposed first reacts with your atmospheric oxygen and your moisture content then the inner layers of the metals will be corroded so hence it is a surface phenomenon the phenomenon which takes place at surface in detail if you want to know how the reaction happens in this uh, your corrosion it is simply like a anodic cathodic reaction which happens upon the surface of the metal. Here is the pictorial representation of corrosion wherein I have taken an iron piece. So, this is a, a square thing which you have taken is an iron piece and how the cor corrosion or rusting happens let us see. As you can see one droplet of water on your iron piece. Water means you have to assume that water has dissolved oxygen and carbon dioxide in it always. Any water for that matter it has dissolved oxygen it in it that is it has dissolved oxygen from atmosphere as well as carbon dioxide even from your atmosphere. So, it has dissolved oxygen and dissolved carbon dioxide in it. This water droplet which is present on the iron metal at that place where the water droplet is present it has in contact it is in contact with your iron metal along with your oxygen and moisture content that is water is nothing but your moisture content. It has dissolved oxygen, dissolved oxygen that is nothing but it is in direct contact with your iron metal. So now heat at this place the metal is in contact with moisture content as well as oxygen, atmospheric oxygen that is dissolved in this water. As a result at this position where the water droplet, this water droplet is present, iron undergoes oxidation, iron undergoes oxidation that is Fe give rise to Fe2 plus give rise to num some electrons. So, I have taken 2 moles of iron, you get 4 number of electrons. So, the simple re oxidation reaction happens at this place. Hence, this place where the water droplet is present and the iron has undergoing oxidation is called as anodic site. It can be called it as anodic site. That is because at anode oxidation happens. Now, the iron, metallic iron has undergone oxidation to give you Fe2 plus ions plus electrons. What happens to this Fe2 plus ions? They get corroded from their place and move to the surface. Already it is on the surface, it gets uh, uh, loaded up over the surface like this. 
since they are leaving their original place they make some pit like things that is some holes on the metal as you can see some rusted metals if you see a rusted iron you can observe that there are some pits or holes on the surface of the metal that peak pit is because of this erosion of this metal as metal ion onto the surface this iron ion further on reaction with atmospheric oxygen not dissolved oxygen a further reaction on with atmospheric oxygen they form your rust they form your rust a water droplet it has atmospheric oxygen dissolved in it as well as your water droplet that is moisture content iron undergoes oxidation fe2 plus ions produced erodes from their place forms uh, your crust like things this is your crust like thing holes on the surface uh, and uh, fe2 plus ion further reacts with your oxygen atmospheric oxygen to produce this fe2o3 xh2o that is nothing but your rust that is your brown powder which you get upon touching your corroded iron then the four electrons what happens to the four electrons the four electrons moves inside the metal as you all know the metals are good conductor of electricity they can pass the electrons through it so this four electrons moves inside the metal they travel inside the metal from this side to another side wherein that side also has a water droplet so that side also has a water droplet so the four electrons move from one side that is this anodic side to another side wherein another water droplet is present so it moves inside the metal at that side i have already told you water dissolves carbon dioxide and oxygen inside it at this side say carbon dioxide has reacted with water to form this acid this is a carbonic acid it is called as a carbonic acid at this side what happens the acid that is has been produced how acid is produced carbon dioxide has re reacted with water water droplet and it has formed this carbonic acid this is your carbonic acid so if the four electrons coming from anodic side to the another side where in droplet of water water is present this water is rich in carbonic acid it has some acids that is carbonic acid reaction is carbon dioxide reacts with water to give you carbonic acid now what happens these four electrons will reduce your oxygen will reduce your oxygen so o2 to h2o you can observe there is a reduction reaction o2 zero minus 2 reduction of oxygen happens that is the four electrons from coming from iron will add up to your oxygen molecule in presence of an acid in presence of an acid to produce two moles of h2o since reduction of oxygen what is this oxygen it's your atmospheric oxygen or your dissolved oxygen present inside the water so oxygen being reduced by four electrons where are these four electrons coming from they are coming from anodic side by the oxidation of metallic iron then 4h plus where it is coming from from your carbonic acid present inside the water droplet oxygen either dissolved oxygen or your atmospheric oxygen so reduction reaction happens here since the reduction reaction is happening at this site it is called as a cathodic site so hence at anodic site iron erupts and form pits like things these are your pits pits like things by iron ion coming onto the surface these iron ions further react with oxygen to form your rust thing that is iron oxide as the rust these pile up on the surface that is the brown powder this is your brown powder brown color in nature brown color in nature these pile up on the thing and the other safe surface that is the uh, anodic surface goes on erupting erupting as the surface goes on erupting erupting the total weight of the substance goes on decreasing so the total weight of the substance goes on decreasing that is nothing but your rusting in detail i have written the reaction here it was also at anodic site iron undergoes reduction sorry oxidation iron erupts to the surface further this iron this iron reacts with atmospheric oxygen to form rust the four electrons that is present at the that is produced at the anodic site move to the another site wherein water droplet is present another water droplet is present wherein this four electrons these four electrons reduce your oxygen oxygen reduce your oxygen into water molecules so like this your iron from the surface goes on erupting reacting with your atmospheric oxygen again reacting with your atmospheric oxygen again to form your rust so like this the rusting will be increasing as and when it is exposed more and more to the atmospheric uh, atmospheric moisture as well as your dissolved oxygen and atmospheric oxygen too next thing is how to prevent this corrosion 
as you already studied in your lower classes the uh, there are many many methods to prevent this uh, corrosion one is painting painting the surface of the metal wherein a common man also knows about that painting the surface of a metal that is iron prevents it from rusting painting then uh, greasing the surface greasing the surface of the uh, metal so that it is not in direct contact with the atmospheric oxygen galvanizing galvanizing is nothing but electroplating another metal which is less reactive on this iron i think you know electroplating of iron it is done uh, electroplating or galvanizing the metal so that all these methods agenda is you are not making the surface of the metal corroding metal directly in contact with the so, uh, atmospheric oxygen and your moisture content so that the corrosion of the metal will be less so different methods are employed these are the three important methods for uh, preventing the corrosion one is painting the surface greasing the surface galvanizing or electroplating the surface of the metal to prevent it from corrosion thank you